Hello learners, welcome to Python Revision Tool 7. In previous class, we have gone through advanced syntax of looping constructs and nesting of flow of controls in Python. In this class, we will learn one of the important sequence type in Python, that is strings. Strings are important type of objects which captures alphanumeric data in Python. There are various fundamental operators which may be applied to strings. Along with that, it also have many built-in functions to work upon it, which empowers Python programmers with a very powerful tool which we will come across in this class. We will see many operators and functions related to strings. So let us begin. Strings, as you can see on your screen, is made up of sequence of characters within single or double quotes with a subscript integer value either starting forward from 0 to n minus 1 or starting backward from minus 1 to minus n, where n is the total count of characters present in a string. As you can observe in the given example on your screen that the letter capital H in the string hello is indexed using 0 or can be indexed with minus 5. And similar are other letters or characters in the word hello. The significance of these indexed subscript is that using them we can access these designated characters in a program. So here is the list of operators before you which can be applied to work upon string values. So strings can be manipulated using these operators. So here the list goes. The plus operator concatenates two or more strings. Asterisk or star when applied between an integer and strings repeats the string by that much number of times as that of the number. The in and not in operators check the existence of a character or a group of characters within a string. The string slicing is one of the most powerful way in Python to generate substrings out of a main string. Let us see a code example to understand all of these string operations in more detail. So, let us understand how to use concatenation operator with this example. So we have a string good concatenated with boy and that gives us good boy. Now let us go for the next example. We have two strings as one good and s2 as boy let us concatenate s1 and s2 as s1 plus s2 and that gives us good boy again so this way also we can concatenate two strings now let us go for another example and we can see that we don't have any space between good and boy right they are being placed side by side beside each other without any space now i want to put a space in between good and boy so let us see how we can do that with this example so to place a space between good and boy we have to use good plus space plus and then the boy right now we can see when we execute this statement we have good boy right with a space now let us go to the next example we will use asterisk or star operator for string repetition so string repetition operator 
is being used for repeating a string many number of times when we use star in between an integer value and a string value. Let us see how to do that. So, 5 star god we have 5 times we want to print 5 times god and that gives us god 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 and god. Five. Let us understand how to use in operator with a string. So, k in kamal gives us true since k the letter k is in the string kamal so in checks for the existence of a letter k in kamal or another string within a main string now let us check for k in ravi which gives false since k is not present in ravi so it is giving false now let us understand slicing of strings the, sli the string uses a syntax, a slicing syntax like str and then we have to give the first index colon, second index or the last end index colon step. So this is a string slicing index which has to be used for slide conducting slicing over a string. Here m is the n is the starting index from where extraction of the characters will start and it goes up to m minus 1 taking a jump of step characters here m n and steps all are optional that is you may not give them value but writing colon is compulsory and important so let us see few examples using this particular syntax of string. So let us find out how to use this syntax of slicing. So we have a string I love India and we will simply slice out some characters from this letter. Uh, string and we have put an index 2. Let us find out what happens when we execute the code. We have letter L. So, why we are getting L? Because the index position at uh, the index position which we mentioned 2 has a letter L at that position. So, we have 0 and then a space in the one first designation and 2 position number 2 we have L. So, 0, 1 and 2 we have L. So, L is the at is at the designation 2 and hence the output is L. Now, let us see another example. I love India and then we have a slicing like 2 colon 6. Now, you can see the output is love now let me explain why this output comes because we have 2 at starting index, 6 as a ending index and the string being sliced out is between the starting and end minus 1. So we have L, the letter L at index position number 2. We have letter L at index position number 2 which is the starting index. Starting from L we have to take we have to go up to the sixth index. So we have we have two, three, four, five, and six. So up to six, that means we are up going up to starting from L, we have L at two, O at three, V at four, E at five, and space at six. So just before space, we have to extract. So the output is L O V E. So, we have the output as love. Now, let us go to the next example. So, we are writing the string as I love India and then let us put a slicing like 2 colon. 
now it produces an output love india now why this, is this so because it gives it starts from the starting index 2 and since we have not mentioned any ending index it goes up to the last character in the string so the starting index is 2 so it starts from the letter l and goes up to the last letter that is i in india right so we have starting index 2 and going up to the last index of this string now let us understand this by counting the values so if the starting letter is index is 2 and the ending index is of a is not mentioned here since so we have to go up to the last letter a so this is the output love india right now let us go for the next example so here it comes let me copy it once again so here it comes colon 6 now i have not mentioned the first index and I just mentioned the end index so 6 is the end index I have not mentioned any first index so the slicing will start from the zeroth index that is the first letter i and goes up to the fifth index since we have passed end index as 6 so the ending index will be the slicing end will be 6 minus 1 which is 5 and at 5 we have e at 5 we have the letter e so starting from i we will go up to e so i is 0 space is 1 l is 2 o is 3 v is 4 and e is 5 so i and then up to from here we go up to l o v e so it gives us the output i love so this is clear to you now let us go for the next example and you have to remember that we have not given any starting index over here okay now the next example goes like colon colon and nothing is being given since no index is being passed and it is compulsory to give a colon it prints i love india the whole string is being printed. So, this shows that if you are not passing any index at all, nothing is, and just giving colon, the whole string will be printed. Now, let us go for the another example, just passing one colon. Let us see what happens. It again puts the output as I love India. So this is again the same thing given in the previous example. <coughs> Sorry. Now let us go for the next example. <coughs> Sorry. The index is colon colon 4. Now here we are giving only the last value and it produces i v n let us understand what it means it means that here we are not specifying any starting and ending indexes of the slicing and just we have mentioned the step no starting index that means which means that it will start from the zeroth index no ending index means it will it will go up to the last character i uh, last character a so starting from the zeroth index we have i then we have to jump four letters F the jump here is four right so we have to jump four letters starting from i 0 1 2 3 and 4 the fourth letter is v so v is being printed here again taking v counting from v 1 
टू थ्री फोर राइट सो वी हैव एन नाउ वी हैव टू अगेन काउंट फोर लेटर्स एंड सिंस देर इज नो मोर फोर लेटर्स वन टू थ्री ओनली सो नथिंग विल बी प्रिंटेड वी हैव रीच टू द एंड ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग सो नथिंग विल बी प्रिंटेड सो आई वी एन इज द आउटपुट सो आई हैव दिस इज अंडरस्टूड नाउ लेट एस गो टू द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल कोलोन सेवन कोलोन फोर सो नाउ लेट एस सी वट हैपन्स वेन वी एग्जीक्यूट दिस स्टेटमेंट here we have not passed the starting index just pass the end and the jump the end index is 7 the starting is the index since not passed we will start from the first letter i so starting from the first letter i we have to go up to the sixth index since the end is 7 it will give you i and v now the jump is of 4 let us count let us count i is at 0 so starting from 0 0 and we have to count four letters the i is being sliced out and we have to count four letters right so i is at 0 1 2 3 4 so four letter is so four letter after four letter we have v so v is being sliced out now we have reached to the end of the end position since the end position is 6 right the sixth index is at e A space at i we have the seventh position and before that we have a space which is having a sixth index which is at sixth index zero one two three four five six so seven is n is seven and then we have to reach up to i and since there are no more four letters to be included so it gives i n v let us see another example for that now you must be aware that here the end index is very important when you are giving end index it is end minus 1 you have to go up to end minus 1 and hence the things are getting finished at n now let us go for the next example and we are having i love india and we are not giving any index this time so nothing is being given not even colon oops this gives producers as syntax error which is an invalid syntax you cannot use this syntax with a string right a slicing index without any index without any colon will give you an error so this produces an error now let's go for the next example and we have colon 0 now see let us see what it means it means nothing it means a blank space since you are the you are giving the end in the index as 0 so it will the slicing will start from the zero index but it will go up to minus 1 because the ending index is zero so zero minus 1 is minus 1 it doesn't makes any sense to the compiler and since it doesn't makes any sense to the compiler and uh, the compiler even uh, not uh, rejects this statement it only produces simply a blank list right so this example shows how a in a meaningless statement can be also executed which produces a blank list right now uh this in this example since the starting index is not mentioned so we have to start with zero and the zero is what zero is the ending index so zero minus one is minus one again so we have just one blank space as output now let us go for the another example 2 colon 8 colon 4 let's see execute this statement it gives us l now let us understand what does it it means 2 is the starting index so we will have to we have to see which letter is there at the second index so counting from the first position 0 1 2 2 is l right so starting from l the l is being sliced out then we have to go up to 8 that means 8 minus 1 7th index let us find out which which one is the 7th seventh, seventh index in this case the 7th index is 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, i is at 7th index. So, we have to go up to i which is 7 having index 7 and 4 letter at a time. So, we have to move 4 letter at a time. 4 letter at a time. So, moving from L, moving from L, we have 4 letter 1, 2, 3 and 4 which is a space. Hence, a space is being, this space is being concatenated with L, right. So, L is having a next letter space. Now, since we have reached to the end of our slicing index position 7, so no more letters will be sliced out. So, this is our output L with a space, right. So, our output is okay with this. So, this slicing shows L. Now, let us go for the next example. It is similar to the first one only. It is similar to the first one 2 colon 8 colon 2. So, we here we are taking two letters at a time and hence L and V are printed. Two jump at a time. So, we have L and V. So, L starting from L which is uh, at index 2, 2 letters 1, 2, 1, 2. So, we have V and then again 2 letters. So, 1, 2 we have a space. So, this is 2 at, at two letters are jumping 2 letters we have a space and this space will be again concatenated here. And then we have I which is the final index where we have to stop. So, hence we have to stop here and no more slicing will be done. So, let us see another example. Here we are giving 8 colon 2 colon minus 2. Now, this is the first time we are giving a negative index as jump, right? Negative value as jump. So, 2 minus 2 means we want to start from the rear end. Giving a negative jump means we want to start the slicing from the rear end or the back end of the string. So, we have to start our slicing right from the back end which is the character A of India, right. So, we have to slice out from starting from A. So, uh, but since we are giving minus 2, now let us see what is the output. So, 8 is the starting index. Let us find out which letter is there at position number 8, index number 8. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, n is the 8th index letter, right. We have n in the 8th index letter. So, 8th index letter is n. So, n is printed. Then, we have to go up to 2. The, the ending index is 2. So, n is here at 8th position. We are counting it. So, n is here at the 8th position. We have to go up to 2 which is the end index. So, 2 is L. L is at position number 2. So, we have to go L minus 1. Since it is a positive L. So, L minus 1 that is L plus 1 sorry. If we are start counting from backwards we have to take L uh, m plus 1 so we, which is 2 m plus 1 which is 3 so th at 3 we have this o so we have to go up to o when we start from the backwards we have to add 1 to the ending index so uh, right we have to end at end plus 1 we have to give end plus 1 so this is 3 so we have to go up to o so counting here from starting from l two letters, two jumps. So, two letters is a space. So, this space is coming here and then we have to jump again two letters. So, we have space one and two. The second letter is V. One and two. After doing that, we have V. So, V is concatenated here. Again, sliced out and then we are reaching to the end of our end position O. Since we are reaching at O, which is the end position, we have to stop our slicing. So, this Negative jump means we are starting from the rear end of the string to slice. So, this has to be kept in mind that the slicing can be done from the rear end too. Now, let us go for the next example. 
we have 8 colon 2 minus 1. Now this is similar to the first example. We have negative jump. That means we have to start from the rear end, taking one letter at a time and going up to the second that is O. The third letter is O. So N starting from eighth letter, eighth position is N. So N will be printed. Then taking one letter at a time, I, the next letter is I, in the series is I, <coughs> I will be <coughs> printed, <coughs> then again taking one letter at a time is a space, that is space will be printed here, then again E is there, one letter at a time, then E will be printed, V will be printed and then we are reaching to O which is the sec last index, right, we are reaching to the second index, second plus one end plus 1 which is 3 so the index of 3 uh, o is 3 hence we are reaching at the last index so we will stop here so our slicing stops at this position o so this is how it goes on with this example now let us see uh, another example of slicing we have the previous two examples we are similar to each other they were not much apart. Now let us see next example minus 3 colon minus 7 colon minus 2. Now here we are giving all the indexes as negative. Let us understand what does it means. Minus 3 means we are going to start from the rear end. Now as we know that a string can be also indexed from the rear end in the negative index, right? It produces di. The output is di. Let us understand why it is di. Why it is giving di. So minus 3. Let us understand what is minus 3 index. Since uh, when minus 3 is the starting index, so we have minus 1, a as minus 1. The index of a will be minus 1. Since string can have negative, can have negative index also starting from the rear end. Right. So a will have an index minus 1. I will have minus 2 and then d will have minus 3. Since we are starting from minus 3, this d will be sliced out and printed in the output, right? So d is the first letter to be sliced out and then we have to go up to minus 7. Now since we are counting from backwards, we have to add 1 to this index. So minus 7 is minus 7 plus 1, that is minus 6. So let us find out what is the index up to which it will go iterate through and that is minus uh, e. The index of e is minus 6. Index of E is minus 6 up to which the slicing will go over. And jumping from backwards, we have to jump two at two letters at a time. So starting from I, sorry, D, we have to jump two letters. So this space will be also counted because it is part and parcel. So E 6, 6, the minus 6 is the index for this space, right? So we have to take this space, consider this space also and this is minus 6, the index is minus 6. Now let us find out how to, how the slicing goes on, right. So starting from, starting from the index minus 3 is D, so D will be extracted out first as it will be sliced out and then again 2 at a time, taking 2 letters at a time from backwards. So 2 letter at a time, then the next letter is I, so capital I is printed over here. Then we are reaching to the end of our slicing since it, we are reaching to the an index minus 6 from backwards and since that is our end minus 7 plus 1 that is minus 6 which is our end so we have to stop here the slicing the sliced and hence the final in, the sliced, uh, sliced string is di right now let us go for the next example we have minus 3 uh, sorry colon colon minus 1 now this is a very important example in uh, slicing, right? It is a very awesome code of uh, Python where we have only a negative jump and we are not mentioning the starting and the ending index. Since we are not mentioning the starting and ending index, it goes like this. So it just reverses the whole string. Since we are not mentioning the starting and ending index, it starts from zero, ends up to the last character. And since the jump is negative, so it starts with the rear end, right? From A onwards, it goes up to I. So A, from A to I, it reverses the whole string. This is syntax reverses the whole string, right? And hence, this output is being produced. So I hope this is understood.
to you. So here is an example exercise for you to do yourself. I want you to pause this video right here and attempt the given two questions related to the use of operators with strings. The first question is to replace the first character of any input string with a dollar symbol if it occurs at any other position in the string except the first one. The second question inputs two strings and swaps its first two characters and then prints the resultant string as the joining of two inputted string separated with a space. The solution is done for you ahead in the video but first you try yourself since you have learned the use of various operators with string. So pause the video right now and start doing. So here is the first uh, uh, example exercise of our exercise, the first question of the example exercise and where what we have to do is we have to write a program in Python to get a string from a str given string where all occurrences of its first character have been changed to dollar except the first character itself. So we have to just uh, starting from the first letter we have to check the occurrence of the first letter in the string forward and we have to replace any occurrences of the first letter further in the string with a dollar symbol. So here we have restart in this example restart is there and we have uh, just uh, replaced the uh, second occurrence of R which is the first letter with a dollar symbol right. So this is how we have we have to go for, with this example and let us write the code ASTR is equal to s colon so s at 0 astr is equal to s at 0 means the first letter and then of course we have to iterate for ch in str1 colon if ch is equal to equal to s at 0 colon astr plus equal to and here we have to just give the dollar symbol else otherwise if it is not matching with the first letter we have to give a, a, a str plus equal to the letter itself the normal letter will be concatenated ch so and then we have to print astr right so astr is to be printed here let us see let us compile the code and see the output what happens here one mu you must be aware that we are not making any changes on the main string s so we have to give here s right this s has to be mentioned no there is no mention uh, there is no significance of s here so we have to write s is equal to input enter a string so you have to mention the variable s as string so string has to be inputted now you should observe that s at 0 signifies the first letter right and which is being which is being initialized to ASTR the first letter of the string is initialized to ASTR so that uh, you can begin with the uh, the first letter remains untouched right the first letter remains untouched and then in the rest of the string that means uh, right is starting from the second letter the index one is the second letter second letter from of the given string up to the last index since we are not mentioning the last index in the slicing so it will go up to the last character we have will iterate ch so ch is iterated through the whole string right starting from the second letter and the letter is being compared with the first indexed letter that is the first letter of the string given string when best it is replaced with a dollar symbol right uh, astr is being added with a concatenated with a do dollar symbol otherwise it is concatenated normally with the given letter the incoming letter right here one point is to be understood that we are not we are not changing s right we are not changing s let us run the module so we have replace dollar and then let us execute enter a string restart let us press the enter and see what happens 
oops the error is there so type error is being given type object is not subscriptable the error is in the line for the for loop is producing an error let us find out oh uh, we have to see what is the error in the code right so let us go back to the code and see what is the error so here we can see that we have not uh, here in the for loop we have not mentioned the exact string s the name was wrong so we have to just make change here and now let us compile it again so we have now the code is executing so let us enter let's restart again restart and then see the result the dollar is being is replacing the next occurrence of the first letter r right the first letter it here is r the next letter r is being in the string is being replaced now let us compile the whole code again and see what is output if we are passing another string say for example i am passing a string like uh, concatenate right so concatenate it so here the occurrence of the first letter c is again at the fourth place so that c will be replaced with a dollar now see so this is the result that c at the fourth position is being replaced with a dollar right since the first letter is c the next occurrence of c is being replaced with dollar okay so i hope this output is being understood to you now let us uh, go back Now here one point, uh, one thing is to be kept in mind that we will be needing this extra string variable ASTR as the changes can't be done on original string S as the string in Python are immutable, right? So we have to consider the immutability of a string since in strings are immutable, we cannot make any changes on S. S cannot be changed, so we cannot have a syntax here in this code uh, where we can change the value of s directly or any character within s directly right so we have to uh, take care of this in uh, this example or any example handling a string where it needs to be replacing any character in the given string so we cannot have a syntax like s is equal to or s at i is equal to uh, is equal to something like this which is there in many other languages like c and c plus plus we cannot do like it here because strings are immutable so we cannot have this syntax s at i right so since strings are immutable we cannot use this particular equal to operator to assign a new value to existing index since strings are immutable so we have to go with the our original code a plus t r plus equal to n right so i hope this is understood to you now let us go to the next example in the given example exercise the next question was let's find out the next question <coughs> in the series the next question in the series was this one write a python program to get a single string from two given string separated by space and swap the first two characters of each string for example if the two strings are pure and cat then the output will be care care put so here what, what you have to do you have to enter input two strings and then you have to swap the first two letters of each other now the first string will have first letter the first string have will be replaced with the first two letters of the second string and the second string will be having the first two letters of the first string right so this is to be done in this code now let us find out how to write this code how to write this code so we have pure the first two letters p u will be replacing here in the c a so c a will be replaced with p u right and we have care put right so that we can produce an output so uh, whatever will be the replaced string will be concatenated again with a single space and will be printed now let us write the code So we have the first string as input 
enter the first string then we have second string s2 is equal to input enter the second string then we have a very good syntax over here s is equal to s2 indexed 0 2 colon 2 plus concatenated with the first string 2 colon plus a blank space because a blank space should be there in the output plus s1 uh, 0 colon 2 plus s2 2 colon so this syntax is very important here this line this expression is very important which solves the problem okay and then we will write print let us compile this code let's find out what is output execute this code and find out what is the output of this particular code so here it is pure cat So enter the first string pure, enter the second string cat key input. Now this is the this was the required output where the first two letters of the first string is replaced with the first two letters of the second string. Now let us understand this code. This is very very important syntax and very easy code was there and is one of the good examples of a string slicing, right? Here what we have done, taking the second string, we have sliced out first two letters. The first two letters are being sliced out starting from 0th index and then end is 2 that means 1 up to 1 up to 1 index we have to take out the letters. So 0 and 1 makes the first two letters right concatenated with the next last two means uh, uh, remaining uh, letters in the second string uh, in the first string right. So remaining letter in the first string is from right from starting from the second index up to up to the end so end index is not mentioned so s1 two 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 so this concatenates when we concatenate this particular thing with the next part we are concatenating the first two letters of the second string with the first remaining letters of the first string right and that makes pure so pure is the first string so first string and then space is being concatenated with that and ag again this is being shown right the output here output you can see that space is there in the output so hence we have to concatenate a space extra space over here and then again we have to go to the likewise we will do we will take out the first two letters of the first string concatenated with the rest of the letters of the uh, remaining letters except the first two letters of the second string so this is concatenated again and this whole concatenation produces the required output right so this is a very good example of a string concatenation. So Python has several built-in functions in its library to handle many common operations related to string manipulation. Let us understand them one by one. Is alpha function this function checks whether a string is made up of alphabets only and does not contains any other characters in it. If yes, then it returns a true value. Is digit. Is digit. This function checks whether a string is made up of only digits as its characters or not. If yes, then returns true. lower this function converts all the uppercase alphabets present in a string to its lowercase and returns the resultant lowercase string it neglects any other character other than alphabets is lower this function checks whether a string has all its alphabets in lowercase or not if yes then returns a true value, otherwise returns a false value. It neglects any other characters other than alphabets. Upper, 
and is upper acts similar to that of lower and is lower but just takes the care of upper case alphabets so let us go to the next set of functions l strip l strip and r strip functions returns a string after removing blank spaces or a group of letters from the leading and trailing ends of a string respectively so when no string is passed to these functions it removes any blank spaces otherwise it removes the string sequence which is passed to it as an argument is a space the is a space function checks whether a string only has wide spaces in it or not if yes returns true otherwise returns false is title is title function checks whether a string is in a titled format or not if yes returns true otherwise false a string is considered to be in titled format if it ha it has first letters of all its each all of its each word in capital letter join the join function is used to join each elements present in a sequence of a strings like a list separated with another string this function has complementary function named split which has opposite job than this function we will see that in ahead in the class swap case the swap case functions toggles the string that is converts all lower case alphabets to upper case and vice versa it neglects any character other than alphabets if present in the given string so here is us another set of functions partition the partition function splits the given string using a specified separator starts with and ends with function starts with and ends with functions are to check whether a string contains a particular sequence of letter or letters prefixed or suffixed to it or not find the find function is used to check the presence of a substring within a main string if found returns the index of the position of the first occurrence of the substring if not then returns minus 1 replace the replace function takes two strings arguments and replaces the occurrences of first string in the main string with the second string split the split function as i have told you earlier acts opposite to that of join function as it segregates or separates a main string into list of substrings separated on a single delimiter symbol or group of symbols these symbols may be alphabets or special symbols this is one of the most important functions related to string in python which acts as a game changer in many challenging pro program situation which you will find ahead in the class ord and chr functions let us find out ord and chr functions as discussed earlier in session 2 of the python revision 2 series whose task is to return the sky value of a past character and to return a character value of a past integer sky code respectively as of now we have seen many functions related to string now let us understand the general syntax of using these functions in a program so when you want to use a, pro, a, pro, a function in a program you must follow a, a particular syntax to include that function into a program a function must be following this particular syntax the string function 
here you can see in the syntax the string function name is followed after by the string value itself separated with a dot or membership operator which instructs the comp compiler that this function is a member of the group of functions related to a general string object. The name of the function is followed by a parenthesis within which we pass arguments or values on which the function acts upon to produce the desired result. The string before the dot operator is the function invoking string or calls the functions. Let us understand this syntax with the help of an example. So here is the example. Here in the function find, the find function accepts a single argument value ram, which it searches for within the string ramesh, which calls it. So ramesh, here the ramesh string is the calling string, which invokes the function find to search ram within itself. The second example has a upper function which does not accept any parameter as it does not require it because it has a simple task of changing the calling string Ramesh to its uppercase string. So these two examples shows us how to include or how to use functions related with strings in a program. Let us understand use of all these functions we have learned through an example code. Let us, let, us, let us understand the use of functions related to strings with few examples. The first function is is alpha. So let us see the use of is alpha if a string like this is alpha <coughs> true then print all characters are alpha that's right else you print some are not alpha bits now let us execute this code as you can see that the given string in the given string kamal123 some of the characters are not alphabet 1 2 and 3 are digits rather they are not the part of alphabets hence this condition is alpha when applied to this string give results in a false value so the condition is evaluated as false and hence it goes to else part and this output is being printed that some are not alphabets so in this way you can check for existing a string having all alphabets now let us go to the next function is digit if 7 to 8 as a string dot is digit equal to equal to true print the string is entered can be converted to a number. Else we can say print can't be can't be converted to a number. Let us execute this code and see what happens. We have a string having 7 to 8 as characters and we are applying is digit function on it. So the output is the string entered can be converted to a number. Since we have no alphabets in this particular string, all are digits, so is digit returns true in this case. And hence 
the true part is executed, the if part is executed and the else part is omitted and hence the string ent entered can be converted to a number is the required output. Now, uh, let us paste the code ahead with some changes and see what happens. Suppose here in 728, I am embedding another thing KAM and let us now execute the code and see what happens. Now the output is can't be converted to a number since we have added alphabets to the existing character set, right? So the is digit now is returning false because KAM cannot be converted to any digit, right? So hence, or it, it is not a digit, it is a part of alphabet, hence it is returning false. Now let us go to the next function in the series that is lower function. So we have a uppercase string like KAML in all caps dot lower and what is the function of lower it converts the whole string into lowercase now you can, as you can see the output is evident here that it is converted to a lower string lowercase string now let us go to the next function in the series that is is lower so is lower is to check whether the given string is all in lowercase or not so if i'm taking one string k a m a l where k and a has been kept in uppercase and then we are applying is lower is equal to equal to true if it is this is true then print password okay or else you print password must be in lower case isn't it so uh, we are restricting a password to be entered in lowercase right so let us see what happens when we execute this code password must be in lowercase because we have and in our string we have two characters two alphabets in uppercase and hence there is such type of thing now let us modify the code above and see what happens if all are in a small case all are in a small case now, as you can see, I am going to modify this k and a to k, small k, small a, and let us compile it again. And we see that password OK. Now, let us modify it with another string. Say, for example, if I am modifying it with k, a, it's all in a small, and then I am embedding some other characters which are not alphabet. Say, for example, 4, 5, 6, or hash and question mark, uh, a dollar symbol, right? And let us compile it again. So, what we see here? The password is okay since it it only checks the is lower only checks whether all the available alphabets in the string are in lowercase or not it doesn't cares about it neglects other characters which are not alphabets right so there is uh, uh, there will be uh, checking for only for alphabets in this case right so you have to take care of this you have to remember this right now let us go to the next similar programs can be written for upper and is upper right the is upper and uh, upper function similarly acts as that of uh, lower and is lower function right so you can write it yourself now let us go to the next uh, function in the series that is l strip and r strip right so let us find out l strip the function of functionality of l strip so common dot l strip and here intentionally what I am doing I am going to put a space blank space before common right now let us see what happens it, it gives us a string common without that those blank spaces the blank spaces the leading blank spaces of the string common has been removed by the else strip so else strip removes any leading blank spaces now this else strip has two formats to be applied one is without parameter or without arguments or another is with argument let us try the second form so we have k a m a l kamal dot l strip and here we can pass argument such as for example i am passing here capital k now what happens let us see the output is amal the k is being truncated it is being removed out from the string from the left Le l means left strip right l left strip so l is being left out l is being removed out from the string kamal so k is being removed out similarly you can have you can have things like this you can have things like this one also so you can write here k a m so that now what happens the whole k a m issue is being removed 
right it is l stripping k a m and hence it is giving l only right so l strip here gives you k a m now k a m when whenever where, wherever it is matched that particular part is being removed right so this is uh, l strip now let us go to the r strip right r strip is similar to that of l strip and you can write a program with r strip like for example uh, suppose we have kamal space 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 dot r strip r strip r strip r strip and here we are giving trailing spaces we are giving trailing spaces and this r strip just removes the trailing blank spaces out of the given string right so we have this thing okay now let us let us let us find out let us find out um, another function in the series that is is space right so is space checks out whether all the letters or all the characters in a given string are spaces or not so let us find out let us take a string of blank spaces and apply is space on them all right so let us find out what is the result so blank space dot is space gives you true because it checks out whether the given string is made up of all blank spaces or not let us let us say i am taking uh, i blank 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 space m and now i am applying is space so what it will give us let us see it will give us false because not all the characters are blank spaces here i and m are there right now let us go for the next function use of next function that is is title is title checks about checks whether a given string is in a titled format or not title format is the that format where each and every uh, uh, first letter of each and every word of a string is in capital letter right so let us find out this is a title text dot is title right let us find out what is the result of this particular thing and uh, uh, let us put a put a if condition over here so if this is is title is equal to equal to true then i will what i will do i will print print the text is suitable for the text is suitable for being a title text is suitable for being a title else 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 print not in correct format say for example now let us see the text is in suitable for being a title since it is since every every single word in this string has a, its first letter as a as a uh, cap in cap in capital case right so now let us find out let us find out uh, let us make a small change in here and see if the result is same or not so let us make this t as a small right and see what happens now you can see not in correct format because because the t has been changed to small t right okay so not every word has its first letter as capital hence the condition is false since the condition is false the else part is executed now let us go to the next function in the set and that is a very important function join let us see how, what the join does with a very important small example a blank is uh, a hyphen letter joining with joining with a string say for example my name now let us see what is the output of this code now you can see every letter in my name is succeeded with the joining character hyphen and then it joins with the other letters in our in my name and it is repeated for each and every letter right so k space uh, say k hyphen a hyphen m hyphen a hyphen l is the result right so this is how the join acts upon and let us find out one more example with join that is uh, join and you can pass not only a string you can pass any other sequence within this function join so let us pass a sequence uh, a list hello mr and here we write india all right so let us find out what is the output of this code now you can see hello hyphen mr hyphen india now why why there is a space between hyphen and uh, mr and hyphen because we have intentionally uh, left over a space over here when we are we were making the string right so 
So that's why this hyphen, this blank space is coming. Now let us go to the next example, next uh, function in the series that is uh, swap case, right? Swap case is just toggles the upper case into lower case and lower case into upper case character in a given string. So let us find out uh, how it acts out. So k a m a and small l and dot swap case, right? Swap case. Now see what happens. Now you can see that capital K has been changed to small k, Cap small a has been changed to capital A, capital M has been changed to small m and so on. So this is the purpose of swap case. Anyway, you will use this uh, wherever it is required. Now let us go to the next function in the series that is starts with and ends with. Let us find out what is the, what is the use of this start with and end with function with a simple example. So if password password dot starts with pass then is equal to equal to true is equal to equal to true then now we can see uh, one error is there so we have given an additional bracket so let us let us let us just copy and paste the code again and compile it so pass is equal to equal to true is equal to equal to true then just simply simply print uh, correct print uh, correct or else you print else you print incorrect print incorrect right incorrect now let us compile this code and see what happens so it is giving correct because pass is starting with the sequence of letters p a s s right if it is starting with sequence of letter p a s s it is evaluated to be true and hence the correct is print now let us change the code once and see uh, if it is if it prints incorrect or not so let us let us let us here we write ass or assp for example right assp now mm, assp uh, it gives us what assp uh, is a substring which we are going to check whether that the, this password string is being started with this uh, sequence of letters or not. So here we find that ASSP is not being the part and parcel of the starting letters, right? So hence it will be evaluated to be false. So let us let us let us find out what is the output here. Let us compile the code. It is incorrect, right? Since ASSP is not the starting letters of the uh, string password, right? So in this way you can check whether a given string is starting with a particular sequence of letters or not. Right. Similar is the case with ends with. It checks about whether a string is ending with a particular pattern of ending letters or not. So you can write yourself the for end with. End with function similarly is acted upon. Right. Now let us uh, go to the next function in the series that is find function. So find function helps you to find a particular group of strings, a group of uh, characters or a single character within a within a string. So let us find out K A M A L. Kamal, Kant, Gupta, and here I want to find, find, I want to find a U, presence of letter U. Let, let us find out what is it gives. It gives us the index for the letter U that is 12. The index is 12. Now let us go to the next uh, uh, the example. Uh, the same example we will see and let us find other characters. Say for example, I am finding out find A. Let us find the letter A and see what it gives. It gives us 1. Why is this so? Because there are a lot of A present in my name, right? There are many A's. It is uh, one A is present in the, at the position number 1, another A is present at 0, 1, 2, 3, position 3 and so on, right? The first occurrence of the letter A will be, the index of the first occurrence of my letter A will be returned. So, from in my name, the occurrence of the first occurrence of the letter A and that index will be returned that is 1. So 1 is being printed. Now let us go to the uh, 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 next example in the series that is to find out uh, a better example will be to find out anything which is not present in my name. So for example I'm going to uh, find I'm going to find x in my name right there is no x in my name let us see what it returns it gives us minus 1. So if there is uh, if the, uh, the search character or the, or the or the character which you want to find does not exist in the main string, it returns negative integer that is minus 1, right? 
so hence you will find uh, you will you will be uh, knowing that uh, the function is not able to or the function is not able to find or search the given uh, set of characters in the given string right not only single uh, character you can fi also find a group of letters in a given string say for example this example dot find dot find kant you can find kant also which is a group of letters within a given string now it is giving you six why let us count zero one two three four five and six the letter the kant is starting with the with, from the index six right the, the k of the kant is starting with the index six and hence that starting position is being returned so kant is existing there and it is existing it is starting at the index number six okay here also the indexing is starts with zero only right now let us go to the next uh, function in the series and that is replace right find and replace are very much uh, complementary to each other so let us find out kamal kant gupta and let us replace this thing let us replace uh, replace let us use replace and here in this replace we have to pass two parameters or two arguments the first argument is that character or group of characters which we want to replace and the second parameter is the letters by which we want to replace the first letter right first uh, uh, group of characters so let us find out uh, i want to replace my kant my middle name kant with a, a group of letters say for example kumar right so let us find out what whether it happens or not now you can see the returned string is Kamal Kumar Gupta. The Kant has been replaced with Kumar, right? So this is how the replace acts. The replace gives you a, a very uh, basic form of replacement of a group of letters or a letter, a particular letter from a string by a given letter or a group of letters, right? Now let us go to the next function in the series that is split. Let us see how the split acts upon. Let us uh, take my name again. And split it into uh, without passing any parameter to the split function right now let us see what it returns it returns a sequence a list having each let each uh, word of my name my first name my middle name and my title right so all the three things are being kept in within a single list and is being returned so it split if not passed with a parameter it splits on blank space so it splits upon blank space. So if no parameter is passed to split, that means the default value for the delimiter symbol is blank space. So it splits the string based on the blank space in between the words, right? Now there is another format for split which we will use now. Let us let us put let us put comma Kamal having age twelve having uh, weight forty five point six seven comma Ravi Ravi having a age 37 67 having 56.59 weight dot split and i am going to split based upon a delimiter delimiter symbol comma now this time comma separated values are there and I, I want each values to be extracted out from this particular string now let us see it is being given so here you can see that wherever the comma is being appearing that from there only the splitting is happening Right. So Kam Kamal is being splitted, uh, 12 is being splitted, 45.67 is being splitted. Here one thing to be uh, taken care of or to be to be spotted is that uh, every thing that is coming out of uh, from this split is in the format of string. Right. So it gives you, it returns you a string list, right, list of strings. So this has to be remembered. Now let us go for the last two couple of functions in the series that is ordinal so ordinal of capital a gives you the sky code of a and the chr of 65 gives you the reverse thing that is capital right so this uh, completes our uh, example uh, code for all the functions which you have just now seen to do on the application of string related functions as you have seen much examples related to the functions the use of functions with a string so I would like you to pause here and pause your video so that you can solve this exercise which asks you to search a substring in a main string 
and then replace every occurrence of that search string with a st second string. The example in the question is self explanatory. Just read once. The solution for this exercise is done for you ahead in the class, but for the time being, pause the video and do it yourself. So here is the solution for the question in exercise example 2 in this class. The question was write a python program to input a string paragraph and two words w1 and w2 and then search the existence of w1 in p and replace it with w2. For example, if paragraph p is Ravi is a good person, Ravi help everyone, Ravi is orphan and w1 is Ravi and then and w2 is Samir then the final string will replace all Ravi all Ravis with Samir. So wherever Ravi will is, is appearing it will be it will be uh, changed with Samir it will be converted with uh, uh, Samir right it will be replaced with Samir. So this has to be done in this program. Uh, we have two versions of this program here. I will write both of them. One version is a bit um, uh, lengthier than the other one. Let us see the version 1 of this program and understand how to write the code. So this is the version 1. This is the version 1 of the program. Let us find out. Let us find out uh, how to write the code. So input, input, enter a paragraph, enter a paragraph, enter a paragraph and then uh, w1, w1 is equal to input, input, enter enter um, enter the word the word to be executed to be executed enter the word to be to be to be searched sorry is not executed to be searched uh, and uh, and replaced right replaced so this has to be entered it is inputted and then we have w2 uh, where we will just uh, paste the um, uh, the same thing over here copy and paste the same thing over here and we will write here enter the word which replaces the first word right uh, as a word as a replacement as a replacement word right that this word will replacement word hmm. so now these are the two words three things three strings we have taken now what i will do l is equal to l is equal to p dot split i will split this i will use the split function to split this p paragraph into uh, into um, list of words right and then I what I will do I will apply a while loop I will apply a while loop uh, while uh, while uh, I is less than equal to length of I will calculate the length of the inputted paragraph so L length of inputted paragraph means now the paragraph has been converted to a list so your length of the list length of list means how many words are there just to find out how many words are there minus one colon if if l at i this i is being iterated from 0 to last uh, index so l at i is equal to equal to w1 then um, what i will do l at i will be l at i will be replaced with w2 it will be it will be assigned with w2 and then i what i will do i will increment the index value with 1 right and then after coming out of the loop what i will do i will simply do one important thing what I will do p dot p is equal to I will change the paragraph is equal to and then with a space with a space I will join with a space I will join dot join with a space character I will join this l l means the list itself and then I will just simply print p dot uh, one more thing has to be done p dot R strip because there will be extra last extra last space after the last word so that has to be removed so R strip any blank spaces should be removed from the last part and then I will simply print P now let us let us run and uh, find out what is happening in this code so find out let us find out okay uh, before saving this code let us uh, copy that word to which has example word right so that we can we don't have to type the thing again right so i'm going to type na na pade. let us find out uh, okay let us run it let us run it and see what happens okay so 
replace existing so my program name now enter a paragraph so this is good to see that this happened today and because of this it is so clear that this is going to happen so this is just a random sentence does not have any meaning now paragraph so entered i have entered the paragraph now i, have, I will enter the word which is to be replaced so i want to replace the word this t h i s t h i s a small t h i s right and i will replace this word with with um say for example a uh, clear i will want to replace this word with clear and let us see if it is if, if it happens or not now you see this the first this has been the first in in, a, in a my output the first this has been not changed because it is starting with a capital T, right? So that why that is why it is not being replaced. Now see what happens to the other this. Now we have a, a new this over here. After that there is this. So now you see here uh, after this that this this has been replaced with clear, right? And here also because of this this has been replaced with clear. Here also the clear has been replacing this, right? Here also that this has been replaced with clear. So this in this way. We write. Uh, we have written a code which replaces a particular word with a new word, right? Now this is the code. Let us understand what what I have done. Again, I am explaining. I have inputted a paragraph. I have inputted two words. Now what I did? Why I first I splitted the paragraph into a list, right? And then iterated a while loop through the list and compared each of the words present in this list with w1. If it is found to be matching, then I re just replaced it with w2, right? And uh, uh, similar, uh, similar, uh, 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 iterating, iterating up to the last of the list. I am coming out of the while loop, and after coming out of the while loop, my list contains the replaced words. Right? My list now contains the replaced word. Now the task is to again convert this list into paragraph. So to convert this list into paragraph, the opposite function of split is join. So we are joining all the words present in this list with a blank space, and that's why I've I've taken here a blank space dot join list. So paragraph is being again created, and then I'm just stripping out the last uh, extra space um, at the rear end, and then I'm printing the word the paragraph P. So this is how it goes. On. So this was the first version of my program. Now let us write a smaller version. A smaller version there exists a smaller version of this program i will write here only and you will see the magic right so the smaller version of this program is i have to copy this thing uh, uh, three lines will be same the first three lines will be same for the version 2 so this is the version 2 of my program this is the version 2 of my program you can see here this is the version 2 of my program and here what i will do the first three lines will be same the first three lines will be same and then I will write what I will simply write one important one is a small code a small line of code will be written here and what I will do I will write p is equal to p dot replace p dot replace a simple function is there a simple one line function is there replace and here I will pass w1 and w2 that's it and then I will simply print print p simply print p now let us run execute this code and see whether the same output is being produced or not let us run the module and see whether the same output is being produced or not so let us let us let us copy our uh, existing string this was our existing string let us copy it again and enter here as a fresh paragraph and now i want to replace this small this this with with clear right let us see what it happens or not yes of course it happens right it is having the same effect as that one as the first version so what you observe what what you what you what you followed with this example the above example shows that how a built in string function a small built in string function like replace in python makes the programmer's life easy so wherever it is possible to use a smaller function uh, we will be smart enough to use that but uh, learning the way uh, 
in a in a in a in a in a in a way we have done in version one is also important because we have explored more functions, right? So it uh, I, I uh, it is an advice to you to explore the functions uh, without using a smaller function as uh, uh, doing it in a smart way. Or uh, you can uh, uh, you can go for with a longer way of execution, or you can you can just uh, uh, take help of a few functions. Uh, uh, and uh, do the problem right so the exploration is needed here so students here we come to the end of this video lesson with a class assignment which i would like you to go through and solve it you may send these solutions to our kaizala group as you can see we have two questions in this class assignment and i would like you to go through both of these questions and do it Post your solutions to our Kaizala group or to my mail. We'll discuss the solutions to this in our live classes. So thank you for this class. See you in the next class. Goodbye.